Welcome back to this special edition of the Golf Fix on location from the Chevron World Challenge. I'm inside the STEM zone doing a little light reading on energy transference and certainly something that's critical to controlling distance. I caught up with Paul Casey down on the practice tee, controlling distance with the wedges, the math behind his technique and what he does. You pay attention to that. I'm going to learn a little bit about the evolution of golf. Paul, every week you're, you're playing in pro-ams, you're seeing amateurs make a mess of when they get a wedge in their hand where they have to control the distance. Certainly at your level, this is really where, these are your scoring clubs, the wedges and around the greens. Talk about the science of controlling distance when you're hitting these shots. Uh, you're right, the, the, the pros out here this week, that's where, that's where we make our money. Distance control is the big, big thing. And for me with the wedges, it's all about there's one constant thing. Always have to have acceleration into the ball, which puts the backspin on the golf ball mm -hmm. and gives it a nice trajectory. And I change the distance by really just changing how far back I take the club, how far back I turn. Uh, if it's a big full turn, this sandwich is going to go about 110 yards. So that's a 59 degree wedge you got there. Yeah. And then I've got your uh, 52 here. And if I turn back, you know, halfway, uh, or whatever distance, I got kind of a, I, I feel, I'm very much a feel player, but yep. if I turn back a different distance, a shorter distance, but maintain that same acceleration through the ball, I can take, you know, 40, 50 yards off of that 110 yard shot. All right, so show us, show us what that would look like. So when you're saying that you're a feel player, are you thinking about what you're doing here with the, how far your uh, hands and arms are traveling, or are you just kind of feeling like it's just a half shot? It's just getting to a point back here somewhere. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I've, I've read various things, and I know guys will talk about getting getting the arms to 9 o'clock yep. or, you know, 10 o'clock, 11 yep. o'clock, which I think is a great thing, talking about the, the clock face, if you yep. want to talk about that. But it's it's having that point that they know from there, they accelerate through the ball, it produces X distance. Beautiful. All right, let's 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 see a little X distance right X here. X distance? Yeah. We have, yeah, give me a blue flag out there. So is, that's about, let's say it's 90. Okay. Okay, that's a pretty good strike. That was kind of what you were trying to do. Now, let's say you wanted to, to hit this shot 60 yards. <laughs> um, okay, so that one, that wasn't far off. That was probably about 90, that one. Yeah, if I'm good. going 60, it's, again, it's a feel, you know, because, and the reason it's a feel for me is because every day is different. Different wind, different temperature. Different um, altitudes, different possibly. Different grass, yeah. altitudes. Yep. Uh, maybe I've had a large lunch, maybe I've... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they didn't have your lunch ready for Maybe. you. <laughs> Which is why I'm on the range yeah, with you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. So you want 60? Yeah. Okay, I do it. You, if you ever see me, pra the practice swings I make, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to feel, I'm trying to feel the distance for 60. Now, and that's, that was 60 right there. That's perfect. So now, it looked to me like when you set up to hit that, that you might have even opened up the face a little bit more. Did you, was that intentional or is that something that just kind of happened? No, that, that would be intentional. I, uh, I keep the club face square when I'm playing a full sand wedge. Yep. And if I'm going to play, if I keep it square on sort of half shots, there's not quite enough club head speed to maybe get the trajectory I want. So that's why I've opened up the club face a little bit. One, it will help me take distance off the golf ball. Yep. So in effect, what you're doing is you're making your 59, 59. say 61 or two or something maybe like that. Maybe even more, maybe okay. even 65. And, um, and it also may keep that trajectory where I want it, a little higher flight, which might result in the ball stopping quicker. Maybe even putting a little bit more spin on the ball. I mean, we're talking about science and mathematics here. Yeah, exactly. It gets, it gets yeah. a little complicated. <laughs> yeah. um, Way past the education levels that we carry, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, but if I if I put that same swing that I just made and I and I didn't have that club face open like you said, the distance might be very similar, but the trajectory is much different, and the way then it reacts when it lands on the green is going to be different. Still. And obviously the divot is a lot different. That's a lot. It's digging a lot more because that leading edge is is getting into the the turf so much more, I'm going to say violently, but it's just, it's a steeper angle of approach. Yes. And so now if you're, say, say you're hitting a shot, you've got a 60 yard shot and you've got a front hole location. Okay. I mean, this is a hard shot. Certainly you don't want to leave yourself that, but again, our, our viewers at home here end up in these shots that they think are going to, you know, they, well, uh, they expect themselves to hit it close. First one, it would probably, you know, 
try not to leave myself there because yeah. maybe my caddy got it wrong. Um, <laughs> I hate it when Craig does that. <laughs> <laughs> leave myself a little bit full of distance, but you're right. I'll, I'll open up the uh, I'll open up the club face. Uh, I'll make sure there's a lot of acceleration into the ball and try and put that spin on it. Throw that way up into the air just like that and have it land softly. And another birdie. My friend, I appreciate you spending time with us. Thanks so much. Thank you. Well done.